Hi guys, I just wanted to show you a journal which I made with my new digi kit, um, the Nouveau Ladies Journal Kit, which is for sale on my Etsy shop. I'll put the link below. Just getting my papers ready here. I have some tea dyed papers. I have tea dyed um, some lined papers and some plain papers and some doilies to go in there. And those are the printed journal pages, which I showed you in my previous video. Here I'm just cutting out um, another copy of this page, as I use this page for the cover, but I also want to use it inside the journal. This journal is a 4x6. Um, I used a C6 size envelope, a plain white one, and just folded it in half for the cover, um, which you'll see later on. And I'm just rounding my corners with the crunch because I just like that look. Like that. Pages come as 4x6, um, as double pages which you fold over but you can resize them to any size that you wish and I like to distress the edges of mine with um, here I'm just using some distressing by Tim Holtz and it's called tea dye I do also have some um, digital images of tea dyed lined paper on my blog which is artandcraftjunkie.com um, I'll put the link below this video for that as well so if you don't want to tea dye your own papers tea dye or coffee dye I usually tea dye mine um, you can print, download them and print them out just resize them to whatever size you like Inking up all my papers, it just gets rid of the white edges and also gives the pages more of an aged look. I do make most of my journals in a vintage theme because that's just what I love. I will be adding some more some extras to this kit. This is the first kit that I've made and I, um, I'm i happy with it. It's, it's a beautiful kit but I um, just want to add some more tags and journaling cards and things like that to the kit so I'll keep you updated about that. So this is my cover. This is the envelope that I've used and I haven't um, done anything to the envelope except ink it up, we dyed distress ink at this point. I decided not to give this one a leather look like my previous one. This one's just been inked up. I'm using some PVA glue to, to glue my cover image down. And from the middle out, I usually um, push the glue out to um, get rid of any air bubbles. And there I'm using my brayer to flatten it out a little. And now I'm deciding I'm in some vintage book pages also <coughs> into the signatures so I'll just cut those down to straighten them up a bit. And then what I do often with the book pages is I will paint them with gesso, white gesso. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with it. Gesso is a primer which you can use on your painting um, canvases and um, papers. 
it's it's just it gives it a ground for you to work on <clears throat> so I like to paint my um, pages with it because then you can still write or draw on the pages but you can still kind of see the writing underneath so I'm just adding some gesso here Okay, so now I have my book pages ready to go. Just folding them in half, ready to go into the signatures before I sew them into the journal. Here you see the, um, well, this is the printable sheet of the tea dyed lined papers that I have in my blog. As I say, they're free, and I'll just put a um, link to that below the video. I'm just fussy cutting around the edges so that they look nice and aged. And there's one page which is quite light, and another one that's nice and dark just to give you some different looking papers So I just put some tea dyed distress ink around the edges of these also because when you've printed them the around the edges you can see the core of the printer paper it's actually white so I like to ink the edges to give it more of a defined look so you can't see those white edges printed tea dyed papers Now I'm just deciding where I want to put these. So I'm pretty sure I end up using one of them as a pocket inside the front cover. Holding my doilies in half, ready to be sewn in. And in this journal, I've just used one signature, and it turned out quite thick, quite chunky with just one signature. So. Just folding all the papers in half, ready, they're all cut to 4 inches by 6 inches to fit inside the envelope cover. I might just speed up this section so you don't have to watch me folding all of these papers. Okay, so they're all folded and I just sort them into piles so I can see what I've got and what I haven't got. I 
I've just grabbed a couple more lined papers. Now I'm just putting them all together in the order that I want to have them in the book. Just sorting through those there. Try to space them out as evenly as I can. Then I think I was at some stages I've forgotten to put the doily, so I end up um, putting those in, just making sure it all fits nicely. I just sort of um, make it up as I go along. I don't actually plan what I'm going to do. That's just my... So, sorry if I'm sort of fiddling around a bit here, but I'm just deciding where I want to put what, how I want it to look. Here I am adding my doilies. Sometimes I will glue them onto the edge of the pages or fold them in half and glue them onto the edge of the pages as little tuck spots to tuck things in or at the bottom of the page or I will just sew them in as I'm doing here as a bit of extra um, decoration, vintage look to the journal. Okay, and the last oily goes in. The signature is all ready to be sewn into the book. You can see I've left the, at the back on the there, I've left the envelope open and I have not glued it together there because I'm using the back that back cover as a photo or have a little look at there and I'll pin card it or something in there. So just cutting this page down further, made a little banner there and I'm going to put a pocket inside the front. Just using my circle punch here, using half a circle um, for the top of the pocket so that you can see that it's course it doesn't want to work properly. Just ink that up and I glue my pocket down. I'm hoping that you can hear me okay. Um, it's the first time I've actually used this microphone um, that I'm using now. Um, so hopefully this audio will turn out okay. And I just put in a little um, one of the pages there that I've cut down and use it as a journaling spot. And here I'm going to cut down another one of the pages to make a little pocket on top of that pocket. go through the whole process of this journal um, 
after I've sewn it together. I do show you a little bit of some decorations that I've put in, but it just would take too long. This is not an actual tutorial. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea of how the um, the kit looks when it's put together. Um, actual tutorial. I'm making a journal from start to finish at some stage. Um, I'll probably do another envelope one with a leather cover, leather, leather looking cover, but also a hard cover. So here are the tags that are in the kit. Just cutting one out there. I actually just printed them onto printer paper and then glued them down onto cardstock. Or you can print them directly onto cardstock if your printer will allow that. And I'm going to glue that pocket down and the tag's going to go into that pocket there. Okay, so now I'm deciding what I want to put on my back cover, inside my back cover. And what I end up doing is getting the collage sheet there that I just had, uh, the other one there, with that one, and I end up cutting out um, one of the ladies larger image I just cut her down to size and used her inside the front cover just doing that now just measuring it to fit that Okay, so now I'm gluing the inside image, inside cover down. That's from one of the collage pages that you get that you can cut out the images to use for anything, whatever you want. And you see that open pocket at the back there. So that's my cover. Now the back cover, I'm looking for an image here, decide to use the large image of the other girl. And then I wrap that around and glue it onto the flap of the envelope as well. When I've finished my cover, you'll see that it becomes uh, shiny in, in the, next, the next segment will be all shiny and that's because when it's finished I um, paint the whole thing with some gel medium, gloss gel medium, which gives it some extra strength. There we are, that's gel medium. Um, so I'm just going away to do that and here it is after it's been painted. Gives it some strength and also a bit of uh, waterproofness to the cover. And here I've got all my pages ready to go in and I'm going to start sewing them into the journal. I just use a three hole pamphlet stitch for this. Um, when I do a full tutorial, I'll show you how to do the pamphlet stitch to sew your pages in. Normally, I'd poke holes into the pages and then separately into the cover, but because this is just one signature and it's a soft cover, I just sew through all the layers at once. 
I hold my pages together with some clips so they don't move. And I actually I use a white uh, crochet cotton for this. And just poking the holes here. Just I'm just guessing where the middle is on this one. I'm just eyeballing it. One in the middle and two on either end, around about uh, about an inch in from either side. So I start in the middle there, pull it through, up through the top, back down through the middle. And then down up through the bottom one and back up and then we tie our knot in the center there and there we have the finished journal obviously I have not done any embellishing on that um, I need to add pockets and tags and when it's finished I will come back um, with a video of the completed journal so there's all the little bits and pieces I'm going to put inside and thanks for watching